Hello guys, we are discussing about cranial nerves, just how to memorize the cranial nerves, okay? And where is their location? We have 12 pairs of cranial nerves, right? We have 12 pairs of cranial nerves, that are in 12 pairs. So, first one is olfactory, then we have optic, then we have oculomotor, then trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vagus, glossopharyngeal, sorry here we have vestibular cochlea, cochlea, vestibulo, cochlea, here we have vagus, here we have accessory, then we have hypoglossal. Okay, how to memorize this? Okay, this is in order. The first, first, second, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have different mnemonics to memorize this. That is one here, one of our trained teacher. Trained teacher asked asked for very good vada and horlicks so to remember olfactory optic oculomotor Trochlea, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibular cochlea, glossopharyngeal, sorry, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and hypogloss, hypoglossal nerve. So, one of our old teacher, trained teacher, asked for very good vada and horlicks. Now, we have to know the functions also here, whether it is sensory or motor in function. Okay, we have mnemonics here. That is, sum says money matters, but my brother says big brains matter more. Here S means sensory function and M, M means motor function, both means both sensory and motor in nature. See how to remember? The mnemonics here is, some says money matters, but my brother says big brains matter more. So this is a mnemonics to memorize, okay, uh, the cranial nerves and the, is there sensory or motor in function. You have 12 pairs, clear right? This is a mnemonic to memorize the order and is they are, in, they are sensory or motor in function. Okay. Olfactory nerve, they are for smell. And optic nerve is for eyes, sensory. And oculomotor, it's also for eye, the motor function. Trochlear is again for eye. Trigeminal is for, mainly for face, they have innovations. Abducens again for abduction of eye, it is motor in function. Facial, facial nerve is for face, it has both sensory and motor function. Vestibular cochlear for hearing and balance. And glossopharyngeal, it is for face, it has both sensory and motor function. And face, it, is, it has innovation, not face taste, taste function and vagus for GIT, heart, lungs, it has both sensory 
and motor function and accessory accessory they have two parts that is spinal part and cranial part spinal and cranial they have different different part have different function cranial part innervates soft palate clear right and uh, spinal part innervate trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscle hypoglossal again for tongue mainly for tongue and it have other muscles too okay so you are clear about 12 pairs the mnemonics and their function right okay first of all i apologize if we are we are different mnemonics so some people like they get sticky to some other mnemonics i got other mnemonics from internet i will explain you here if some needs they can memorize okay first of all i apologize for this that i saw one mnemonic like this o o o try to touch and feel a uh, virgin's girl vagina a uh, heaven and it will be like some says marry money but my brother says big boob matters more that is your wish i apologize it's not mine i got from internet you can remember this one uh, or other one which one is sticky for you Rem just remember that one that's all we have to remember that's all and we'll study the location of this cranial nerve or the nuclei of this cranial nerve so the location of cranial nerves you study the location of cranial nerves first two they are in cerebrum cerebral cortex okay cerebrum and next three it is in midbrain so it is easy to memorize right first two in cerebrum next three in midbrain next four it is in bones and others all others among 12 they are in medulla oblongata they are in medulla oblongata so memorize this one the locations first two in cerebrum next three in midbrain next four in bones uh, others in medulla oblongata along with this memorize first two here there is no problem third third have two nuclei superior and inferior superior and inferior remember superior it is for vision superior is for vision and inferior for audition or hearing okay so next three in midbrain and fifth one here fifth one is repeating fifth one one nuclei of fifth is in midbrain and other one is in pons so next four in pons means including fifth so one two three four five next four so again start with pons so keep in mind this next four again fifth will start okay fifth six seven eight are in pons and others 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in medulla oblongata. And on this, uh, 7, 9, 10, these are known as taste nuclei or this helps in taste sensation, taste nerves. Okay, just memorize. We'll go in deep in another video about each cranial nerve. So, thank you for watching. I think you are clear about location and the names. Please subscribe and share.